most everyone's deductibles have doubled. We've kind of seen a role reversal. Um, we're seeing a lot more of the, the Medicaid patients. Um, they're now coming in, obviously, because of the, uh, the increase from the, uh, the ACA. Also, we're seeing a lot of patients coming in um, with very chronic diseases that are, haven't been seen with doctors in like 20 years. So they have all these chronic issues. So now we're dealing with issues, especially visits that we are expecting to be 15 minutes long, that now are be turning into like 30, 40, you know, 50 long, an hour long visits, just trying to figure out where the establishing their care is. And then the role reversal that we're seeing is that a lot of the patients um, on the commercial plans, since their um, deductibles have doubled, a lot of them are coming in and saying, what is the minimum that I can get done? I used to just have a $25 copay through my other insurance, well, the insurance got so expensive at my wife's work that she couldn't keep me on it, so I got insurance through my employer through the county. Uh, now I have a $1,500 deductible. I haven't gone to the doctor because I can't afford it. Now I'm coming to the doctor today to establish a new primary care physician, but also to get released back to work from workman's comp. I was injured on a job. Uh, through work, so I have to have a doctor statement to release me. Uh, so, you know, I've got my insurance is going to pay for it. Workman's comp is going to pay for it. Someone's going to pay for it, but I'm sure I'm going to have an out of pocket expense today, so I'm prepared for that. But I do need to get back to work so that I can make money in case I have to go back to the doctor. It's interesting, the patients are asking me and requesting me, can I please go out six months to eight months and get these refills? I just can't afford to keep coming in and getting the regular routine tests. And I always give them the lecture that is, is not the best for your health care, you know, to, to sit there and wait for six to eight months when something could be happening in that, in that in-between time you know, is actually dangerous for the patient. Um, and the fact that patients just, they can't afford um, a lot of what's out there, especially when the deductibles are so high. I'm very um, optimistic and I'm hoping that, you know, at least the struggles that we're having over the next several years will help long-term, right? You know, we're helping, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll see this influx in healthcare costs, but down the line, hopefully that, that there were a lot of those issues that would have been acute care issues that would have gone to the ER, the merchants were taking care of them. Um, but there's just a huge shortage right now. Um, so it's becoming very difficult.